All right, my friends, today we've got some bad habits that you want to punch out of your game. Let's go. Point number one, my friends, stop putting your head down and trying to solve every single problem by dribbling out of it. There is going to be a time and a place for you to put your head down and to really drive and go. We're gonna explain that to you right now after this commercial break. Today's uh, gear is uh, Adidas and uh, today's shoes right here, Adidas. You can get those right down below at Unisport. Back to today's video. Now, um, the time to destroy a defender, the time to put your head down is when you have already settled that you have the space and time to take someone on. Build up speed, make your move, accelerate. Once you've accelerated, now you've got to get your head up because now you're going to be hopefully in a position where you can cross, where you can shoot, where you can now play a one-two. But regardless, if you just keep your head down and start doing this and stuff, the second you put your head down, the whole world changes, all right? So if you see the best players, when they are ready to get the ball, they scan a little bit, the ball comes in, they know where everyone is. When you put your head down, everybody's still going to move, all right? So you've got a freeze frame of the world around you, but you have to remember, if you're in trouble, you cannot solve every single situation by dribbling out of it, all right? A lot of guys think that taking more touches means it's better, and that is not always the case. You can always pass and play out of it, but you can only do that if you get your head up and look to see your surroundings. The next thing, my friends, is that you have got to stop hesitating. You've got to stop doubting, and you have to be decisive. So many players lose chances in the games, not just in front of goal, but also in the middle of the field because they are hesitating. The reason most players hesitate is because they don't have enough confidence in their own abilities. And like we've said and how we've repeated ourselves over and over again, the way to build your confidence is through training, is through practice and repetitions. You have to go out on the field and you have to train. You have to do this type of dribbling drills that we show. All right, so imagine this, you're right outside the box. You receive a pass and you know now, I probably should shoot. But what happens? The doubt comes into your head. The doubt comes into your head and you immediately take that extra second to think, should I shoot? Should I pass? And when you do this, your moment is gone. And the higher the level that you play at, the less opportunity you will have to hesitate. And it's not to say that It's not to say that at the top level, pros don't hesitate. You will see this. You've got to know that at the top of the box, if you can make a decision and go, this is what will lead you to greater opportunities. You'll notice that some of the great players like Ronaldo, Messi, Lewandowski, who just can't stop scoring, they take shots, they get shots blocked, they take more shots than, than most players. Why? Because they've already decided. The same goes for anybody who's playing defense. If you hesitate when you know you're supposed to get stuck in, you will lose the ball and you will lose the position. If, if you're a defender and you know that this attacking player has a ton of skill and a ton of finesse, you probably should have gotten to him before he gets the ball. Give him a bump, give him a push, get physical with him before he gets the ball. Because once he has it, it's over, all right? So do not hesitate. Make your move. Most of the time, if you try and make your move, and we're not talking about diving in. Diving in is a complete another thing. What we're saying is be ready, be decisive. When you think it's time for you to step, step. When you think it's time for you to shoot, shoot. Pass, do your step over. Do it with confidence and train, train, train. And in the game, it'll be easy. All right, my friends, this one, I think is gonna change your game. Everybody at some point has made the mistake of blaming someone else, the people outside, for your own mistake, all right? Do not blame other people for mistakes that are your own. The more you can take responsibility for your own actions, the better you will be as a player and a person. If somebody rolls a pass to me and I don't reach out to get it, then that's my fault, all right? Always look to see what could I have done personally, even if the circumstances state clearly it wasn't your fault. Because what you do with that is make yourself better. There have been tons of times where I know that I should have gotten an opportunity and I didn't. 
Now, I could always look out to the other world and say the coach, the players, the team, the field, all this stuff, but instead, the best thing that I can do is focus on me. And by doing that, you harness all of the powers that you have within yourself to make yourself better. All those little details, all those little things, you make better by focusing on yourself. So the next time you think you get a bad pass and you know you can say, hey, it's your fault. Hey, why didn't you give me this? Hey, why didn't you cross the ball perfectly onto my head so I could just tap it in? Instead of thinking like that, shift your mentality into one that looks on the inside. That way you yourself can get better. All right, guys, that's the vid. You know what to do. Go down below, leave us a like, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below with who's got the best wrestling voice on Unisport, me or J Mike. Thank you, I know you guys all voted for me. Anyway, that's the vid, you guys know what to do. Train, work hard, do your stuff. We love you guys, we'll see you later.